Adelie penguins live only in Antarctica, and nearly 10% of all Adelies call Ross Island home. There are three main penguin colonies on Ross Island, but it is tiny Beaufort Island that has the fastest growing penguin city in the southern Ross Sea. Not long ago, this colony was much smaller because it was hemmed in by snow and ice. Today, rapid warming has melted those barriers away, uncovering new areas for the penguins to nest and allowing the colony to grow. Dr. David Ainley and his team have been studying the Beaufort Island population. He sees this colony as a perfect example of a population affected positively by climate change. What he didn't expect to find were secrets into both the penguins and the islands past. This flat area, which is the ideal nesting habitat, is totally covered with penguins. Retreating snowfields have exposed evidence that this is not the first time the Beaufort Island colony has had to cope with environmental change. You can see in this bank, see layers of guano with the little nest stones. Here's the layer of the present occupation of penguins. And then there's another layer of guano with nest stones. And then another layer down here. So each of these layers represents a period when this colony was occupied by the penguins and then possibly a period when there weren't any penguins. David spots something. Gently, he removes a fossil from the bottommost layer of guano and nest stones. A piece of penguin bone. This bone is thousands of years old. I don't know how many thousands. Geologists would try to determine the age. By knowing that, they would then know how old that layer is and then begin to reconstruct the glacial and geological history of this part of the Rock Sea. By analyzing these layers and the layers between the periods when the island was occupied by penguins, David can clearly see that penguins have had to cope with climate change in the past. Whether they can cope with the rapid and dramatic changes brought on by global warming remains to be seen.